All right, so when it comes down to Scarlet, what is her best variation? What I'm seeing a lot lately is a lot of Heart Pierce 2.0. A lot of teleports, parries, and then they'll add boiling point for damage. I get it, you know, I get why people, you know, use that variation. It is what it is. But if you ask me what's her best variation, um, there's actually two that come in mind. Um, and there's no teleporting to any of them. So the first one is actually the one I mainly use. And that's what I call it Bathory. Um, and what we have is the parry, Red Rain Retribution. This is a very deep variation. It is very, very deep. So I, I don't want to get too technical. I really don't. But I'm explaining to you why I think it's really good. It's one of her best. You have the parry. And you have two ways of getting health back. This bad boy and this one, right? You have Retribution, which you don't have to deal with Wake Up. I don't have to deal with that shit. Um, sometimes I don't even amplify it because I get the hit advantage of 7, and then I'm going to show you the mind games right now. And you also have Red Rain, right? So let's say I punish my opponent. He gets clipped 20% right there. Really good, right? I have the hit advantage of 7. Meaning, if my opponent tries jumping in any direction, tries poking, backdashing, doesn't matter, I get health back. I get health back just like that. Like if he tries pressing any button, right? Another really cool thing that you can do is do this right there. I'm minus four, and look how much space there's in between us. Where the parry comes along is you just... After that, you go to the parry because your opponent thinks it's going to be their turn, but it's really not. When you do this string and then you end it with tongue, you, you could backdash out of there. You don't have to block. There's so much space and you're only minus four. There's no reason to block. Every single Scarlet player backdashes. She has a really, really good backdash. In that situation, people think it's their turn. You backdash, get the whip punish, or you just hold the parry and then boom. They get hit, they lose 15, you get health back. Really, really good. And that's when you start conditioning them. You'll do this, boom. Then you go into this, minus four. And then like, okay, that, I know that, you know, he's gonna do the parry, he jumps, anti-air. It's literally a guessing game. You have to guess whether you're gonna hold the parry or step back. So it's really a guessing game. At that point, they literally have to back dash. If not, there's a good chance they're gonna get like, you know, whip punished with Scarlet. And that's what makes Scarlet really dangerous. That she doesn't really have to block after certain strings. You know, she may not have like the most oppressing strings. She does have her forward four, which it can be, but there's a lot of problems with it. There's also ways of bypassing those problems. Um, like really her standing one, her forward four, and this bad boy are probably her oppressing strings. But we have a string like this, that you can get like minus four on and not have to worry about shit. You know, I can literally backdash and don't have to worry about anything or this one as well. It's really good. Now let's say my opponent is fucking mashing, right? He gets hit with this, right? I'll clip him with this. No character could punish you. No teleporting character could fucking punish you. When you hit with certain strings, like for this one, right? Let's say if I go into this one, and then go into Tongue, if you do it immediately, no teleporting character can punish you. Scorpion cannot, Noob Cyborg cannot, even fucking Raiden when he tries doing that shit. Like, if you're on time with this and you block right after, you're completely safe. Now what that means, if your opponent has a teleport, that's a free punish right there, and they're literally right in front of you. Let's say you get the grab, look how much damage that is for a grab. 16 or if you get the full-blown punish you can get unbreakable damage 27 pretty good or you know if you just want to be right here you could do what I do 17 still my turn Again, I don't want to get too deep, but it's really really good really baiting teleporting characters Teleporting characters think they could you know punish you for this. They can't they just cannot even if they roll and then teleport you're wasting time I'm completely safe so there's that another thing that's really good about red rain and no one's really talking about um, let me show you guys is that if you put red rain you throw a tongue 
that's five percent right there that is five percent right there and i like off a of chip alone that is five percent so i throw one damn near ten percent right there it does really really good chip now they start ducking the blood ball or being a little shit they're gonna get hit with tongue that's ten percent right there so regardless some characters cannot really deal with scarlet's blood ball pressure they have to risk something because it's just wild you can literally start chipping the shit out of your opponent there's rhythm patterns like zoning patterns that you can do um i want to get better at that am i zoning with scarlet to be real it, it sucks dick i'm really not that good zoning with scarlet um i use scarlet like a tekken player like i just really don't mess with her projectiles and anything getting in but there is some rhythm patterns that you can do it's really good in my opinion this is one of Scarlet's best variations hands down. There's just so much depth to it and I definitely highly recommend it. Alright, the next variation I want to talk about is the Hannah Baker 2.0 and that is Boiling Point and the Blood Ball. Here's the thing, Boiling Point hits your opponent really hard. It does really good damage. It literally has the touch of death, right? Basically after everything that you land Boiling Point off of, right? You can amplify it and then throw a blood ball. Let me let me explain to you why this is really, really strong. So I'm gonna hit my opponent. Nice little 27% and throw a blood ball, right? Now, I'm gonna try to jump this shit, right? You can't, you cannot jump this shit. Any direction you try jumping, it's not gonna work. You try back rolling, oh, I fucked up. You actually back roll into the god damn it, this fucking game. Alright. You back roll right into it as you just saw. Now, if he decides to wake up armor for whatever reason, I get a mix up. If he decides to forward roll, the reason why you don't want to forward roll against Scarlet is you you're not gonna be able to break out of this right here. 34% right there That's a easy fucking punish right there easy fucking punish you decide to forward roll out of that you can and That you can literally do that with this right here Amplify that shit Throw the blood ball or for some characters Literally just amplify the blood ball Some characters cannot deal with this they literally have to guess whether they're gonna duck it, try to jump over it, or whatever the case may be. Um, a lot of characters cannot deal with this. If your opponent has a teleporting character, there's ways around it, as I just showed you. Scorpion would not be able to, te like, that wake up teleport bullshit. Like, let's, let me see, we're gonna make him actually, right? We're gonna make him do that. There you go. So we're gonna make him do this right here. Oh, my bad. Amplify it. He can't do that. He just cannot do that. There's so much hit advantage off of Boiling Point. Like, even if I did it off of this right here, same shit. It is literally the exact same shit. He cannot. He cannot. Even if he tries jumping in any direction, he just can't because I have so much hit advantage. So, and that's just for one bar. I don't have to amplify. For other characters... You can literally amplify and there's nothing they can do. Every time they get hit by this, I get in there for free basically. Like in this situation right here, of course, I would bait it, whatever, right? But for characters that cannot deal with the freaking teleport, like what are they going to do? There's not much they could really do. Um, and you just get damn near free mix-up from it. Now if they do have a teleport in character... Again, there's ways around that. You can do stuff like this, right? He can't teleport off of that. So it just has the best of two worlds. If you're dealing with like annoying teleporting characters, there's ways around it. If you're going up against a character that doesn't have a teleport, Slow Blood Ball is going to be your best friend. I think this is a very, very, very strong variation. Very strong. It's just you get two moves that are just... I don't want to say they're broken because they're not. They're just both ridiculously good. Um, a lot of people say, why is Slow Blood Ball two bars? I don't think people realize how good it is. They really don't. 
Um, I think his if it was not check this out, Scarlet would be broken if Slow Blood Ball was only like one slot. She'll be fucking broken. Like I shit you not. She'll definitely be broken. Slow Blood Ball is extremely strong, and I I I feel sad for players that ignore it. I really do, cause it's a really good move. And boiling point just hits like a fucking truck. 18% across the screen. And here's the, the best thing about this variation is that Boiling Point just gives you so much hit advantage. And then you get this guy, you are wasting two bars. You are wasting two bars in certain situations if you want to play it that way. But you can be very strategic with it. You could do stuff like this and then throw the blood off. You're not going up against a teleporting character. Now, if you want to hit your opponent, whatever, you could do that, do it, and then throw the blood ball. Or if you want to do that, um, let me see, boom. And then you could do a tongue, or you could just play it safe and make your opponent work towards you. So there's so many ways to play this variation. Um, I just think it's really good, honestly. I think this is easily top three of Scarlet's best variations. Those two variations I talked about, in my opinion, they're really strong. And I'm still learning things new about them. But just from all the variations I have used, I think those are two of the probably her, her best in my opinion if you guys have any different opinions let's chop it up in the comments but yeah uh, thank you guys for watching i'll leave you back deuces